Hey guys, welcome back to CyberTech. I'm CyberAce TV, and today we're going to be doing a software review of Adobe Photoshop Elements 8 and Adobe Premiere Elements 8. Now let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first program we're going to be talking about is Adobe Premiere Elements 8, which, as most of you probably know, is a video editing system or program. And um, some of you may not know that. I'm not even going to try to open up the program. Right now I have Photoshop Elements 8 open up on my computer um, because uh, Adobe Premiere Elements 8 is so unstable and it um, basically you go in there about a couple seconds later it will start to freeze up. Sometimes it will stop freezing up but then it will freeze up again a little bit later and it will just crash and it's really a horrible editing system. Um, and Adobe released a patch to fix it. I downloaded the patch and it did not fix it. It is basically a very unstable editing system. I would definitely recommend that uh, if you're running like XP or Vista, that you would look into getting um, Adobe uh, Premiere Element 7 because that is a much more stable version. Now, the editing system itself it's very good after using 7, but 8 is just a very unstable version and it's really going to be a problem for you. Uh, if you're trying to run it on your computer because it's just going to keep freezing up and crashing and it's just horrible. So I would definitely, uh, if you definitely have to get 8, just don't even bother getting Premiere, just get Photoshop. Premiere, it would just be an extra waste of money and it's just, I really feel bad for anybody who's bought this because it's a horrible program and none of the fixes work and it's just, it's a piece of junk and a waste of money. Now the next program I want to talk about is Photoshop Elements 8 which is a beast program. It runs steady, stable, one of the best programs I've ever used. Uh, I use 7 on my personal computer at home. This is like my secondary computer that I probably use more than I use my personal computer and it runs like a charm on this. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, the reason we got 8 is because 7 is not compatible with Windows 7. So if you're running a Windows 7 computer, do not buy Adobe Photoshop or Premiere Element 7 because it is not compatible with the Windows 7 operating system. Anyway, it runs like a charm. As you can see, I have it open right now. I have it. It says Cyber Ace TV. And it's just an awesome program. I would definitely recommend this to anybody who doesn't want to buy the full Photoshop because uh, I absolutely think that um, this is just as good, especially for somebody like me, where, I mean, I do graphic design, but not too much to where I'm going to need all of the stuff that Photoshop has and this is a lot easier to use and a lot easier to get used to just to clarify this I taught my grandma how to use it and she uses it like a charm so that's how easy it is to use um, it's just a very stable program and is a lot better than uh, Adobe Premiere Elements 8 which is a piece of junk program that crashes all the time Adobe if you're watching this it's a piece of crap fixes crap now uh, but Adobe Photoshop it just it works great I just, I love it so much. Bravo. Uh, I definitely recommend this program to anybody, and I definitely recommend you get it. Now, I know this video wasn't a very exciting video. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just, I did promise everybody that I would make a review of this software, so there's my thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, I know it's not that exciting, but there will be probably a ton of videos out this weekend, because I really just am in a mass production mood, and I'll probably be filming some right after this. So. I'm CyberAce TV. This this was my review of Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Elements 8, and thank you for watching, guys. See you next time on CyberTech.